Hello and welcome to this PITCO training video. In this video we will review the specific programming functions for the PITCO ROV fryers. All standard programming for the PITCO i12 controller that are not related to the ROV such as changing times, temps, all remain the same. If you require instruction on these programming steps, please watch the i12 programming instructional video located on our website at www.pitco.com. In this video, we will discuss how to program specific ROV features, filter scheduling and adjustments, manual operation of both the drain and the return functions. There are several different buttons on the ROV i12 controller. There is a filter button in between the timer buttons, as well as two top off or fill buttons between the displays, along with yes and no button indicators. Pressing the temp button once will display how many cooks you have left before the computer goes into a filter lock and will not allow you to cook until a filter, polish, or disposal process is ran. Pushing the temp button twice causes the display to show what the controller is programmed for temperature and number of cooks. To enter the filtration programming of the ROV controller, when the unit is on, press the P button. When the display shows programming, press 5599. If done correctly, the display should read filter configuration and buttons 1 through R should be illuminated. Pressing button 1 brings up the drain time. This value should be selected to allow adequate time for the vat to completely drain into the filter pan before continuing the automatic process. Press the P key to exit. Pressing button number 2 will allow you to change the filter time. This adjustment controls the oil cycle time for the filter operation. This value should be selected to allow oil to make multiple passes through the filter pan. Press P to exit. Pressing the number 3 key brings up polish time. Polish mode allows the filter process to run for a longer period of time for those customers that want to do a end of day filter process or just have the need to run a longer filter during the day. Press the P key to exit and press the 4 key to bring up fill time. This adjustment controls the VAT fill time for a filter and or a polish operation. This value should be selected to allow adequate time for the filter pan to be completely emptied and return lines cleared of oil. Press the P key to exit and press number 5 to bring up filter temperature. This adjustment selects the minimum oil temperature allowed for filter or polish operations to be allowed. It is not recommended to filter cold oil which causes added stress to the filter motor and pump. Press P to exit and end button number 6. The menu displayed is for cook counts allowed. This adjustment allows you to select the number of cooks allowed before filter soon is displayed to the operator on the display. In this example, we will change this to 10 cooks. Press P to exit and in button 7. This brings up the cook counts deferred menu. This is the number of cooks allowed once filter soon has been displayed before filter now is displayed. Once filter now is displayed, additional cooks are prohibited until a filter or a polish cycle is ran. Press P to exit and button number 8. This selection allows the enabling and disabling of the auto top off feature by turning the oil level probe on or off. Press button 0 to toggle between the on and the off mode. Press P to exit and button 9 to bring you to the auto top off time. This adjustment selects the amount of time fresh oil is added to the vat during an auto top off event. An auto top off event can only occur once every three minutes and only when the display shows ready. Press P to exit and press zero. This brings up the filter data function menu. Using zero to toggle off or on. When on, it allows the computer to keep track and a brief history of the filters and polishes performed by the operator. Press P to exit and the R button. This brings you to the More Filter menu. Buttons number 1 through 4 and number 6 should be illuminated. Button number 1 is for the jib timer. The default for this is off. Use button 0 to toggle on or off. If a single fryer only, this should be turned on. If a multiple bank unit, only the unit with the jug and box or jib 
should be turned on. All other fryer controllers should be set to off. Factory default for this is off. If replacing the control for the unit with the jib, you will need to program this function to the on position. Press P to exit and press number 2. This brings up jib max. This is the maximum time it should take to empty a full jib of oil during auto and or manual top offs. Jib max time is meant to be adjustable for different cooking oils used. Some oils are more or less viscous than others and may need this time adjusted up or down in order to properly count the usage from a full jib. Press the P key to exit and press number 3. This brings up jib low. When the jib timer counts down to what you set the jib low timer at, the display will show jib low to alert the operator that the jib will need to be replaced and or refilled soon. Press the P key to exit and press number 4. This brings up jib check. You can turn this feature on or off by using the zero key. The controller monitors the auto top off function of each individual fryer. If any individual fryer requests an auto top off of the oil in the tank more than three consecutive times within a 15 minute period, the display will show check jib. The operator should check the jib for proper operation and or check to see if the jib is empty. Pressing the 6 button or the yes button will return the fryer to normal operation. Press P to exit and then the number 6 key. This brings you to MTO or manual top off. You can engage or disengage this feature by pressing the zero key. If on, you can press and hold the manual fill keys to pump oil from the jib to the vat manually. If off, these keys are disabled. Press the P button to exit. PICO ROV units can be ordered with both manual drains and or computer driven filtering. Button 5 allows you to toggle the middle filter button on or off depending on what style unit you have. The drain valve and return valve actuators can be engaged manually if needed. In this section we will review how this is done. To enter the menu allowing you access to manual control on a current control version, you only have to press and hold the middle filter button until the display changes. The control can be in the on or off mode to enter into this display. Depending on your computer's version, you may enter this menu differently. Press filter button once to bring up the filter menu. Press no to filter now, no to polish now, no to dispose, and yes to advanced menu. The display should read fryer control, use buttons 3, 4, and 5 instead of L1 and 2. When in this menu, pressing the L button brings you up return. This will activate the return valve actuator along with the motor and pump and allow you to manually turn oil from the filter pan to the fryer vat on the controller you are using. The motor and pump will continue to run as long as you have this toggled on. Use the yes key or key number 6 to toggle this on or off. Pressing the 1 key brings up the drain menu. Same as before, pressing the yes key, key number 6, allows you to open and or close the drain. If the drain is toggled open, exiting the programming or turning the unit off will automatically return the drain back to the closed position. Pressing button number 2 will bring up the menu for a manual top off. Press and hold the yes key or key number 6 to allow the unit to pump oil from the jib to the vat. Whenever you replace the jib with a new one and or refill the existing jib with new oil, you will need to reset the computer for the fryer that houses the jib. To do this, press and hold the clock key and press the yes key or button number 6 to reset the jib counters on that computer. To exit any of the programming, press the P key. You may have to press more than once to exit multiple levels of programming. Thank you for watching this instructional video on the Pitco Reduced Oil Volume Frying System. If you need assistance or more information, please contact us at 603-225-6684 or visit us on our webpage at www.pitco.com.